Welcome back to Breakfast. Lovely to have you here on a Monday morning. Now, there is a new trend, a very new trend in dining, and it's coming to a street near you. Hot potato, hot potato. They are no longer just dishing up Dagwood dogs. The humble food truck has undergone a gourmet revolution. The movement started in Los Angeles, where there are an estimated 7,000 food trucks, dishing up everything from tacos to truffles, day and night. The phenomenon is starting to catch on in Australia, with gourmet food trucks dishing up delicacies in Melbourne, Adelaide and now Sydney. But how do you find these trucks? Well, that's part of the fun. They are constantly on the move, and Twitter and Facebook is the way to track them down. Joining us now is Rody, Stephanie, Paul, you already know this guy, Paul. and this is Cantina Mobile. Guys, explain to us just how the whole food truck sort of evolution has started. Well, it's been, a, it's been a, something that's just needed to happen for a long time, and it's uh, now in the streets of Sydney. And we're... It's been happening around the world, like from LA to London, Tokyo, but why? It's There's great restaurants everywhere. Why do we need to have these vans driving around? Because it's so accessible and it brings a party to the streets and and it doesn't matter who you are, it's so approachable and and it's just bringing great food late night, you know, fast and furious. I was reading that there are 7,000 in LA. Yes. Just in LA. Yeah, and the thing is, is they're not Taco. like, because um, some people watching will think, oh, is this like the pie cart or something like that that just parks in the same place all the time, just serving chips and pies. But it's quite a different concept, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We have to be continually roaming around Sydney. Why? I don't... I just the... Uh, because you've restaurants. got no licence. Well, we <laughs> well, the City of Sydney yeah. Council's um, ensured that they're keeping um, all the proprietors that have existing establishments happy. We are only allowed to trade yeah. away from them during their closing hours in one spot for a maximum yeah. of four hours. A certain amount of uh, metres away. So, so how yeah. do people find out where you are if you're constantly on the move? It's completely all social, social media. media driven. So people have to Facebook and Twitter us. Um, and then they'll know exactly where we are. We post daily. Well, Paul's getting hungry. Rody, yeah. do you mind? Do you, yeah. you've got, so this is this is Mexican, gourmet Mexican food, which is, is at the top of my list of my favourite foods. Uh, and how many of these are we going to start seeing? Because they're, they're in Melbourne, Adelaide, and it's kicking off in Sydney. Will it ever get to the point where there's 7,000 of these roaming the streets in our major cities? I think if the council allows it, um, it, could right. be, it could be a really massive thing. Yeah. yeah, some of us, some for us. Is yeah, so like say I'm like, 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 I'm in Balmain and the truck turns up, right, yes. and I go there and I think that's fantastic and I well, order some food, yeah. and may never, ever be in Balmain again. So I then have to get in my car Lovely. to track you down. Potentially. Yeah. I know that we have amigos and they follow How us. How about a chicken burrito? But How about a chicken burrito? Sounds good. Another nine that are on the streets within the next few weeks, right, serving right. a yeah, whole gamut different. of different so it is, It's like a whole different okay. system, isn't it, where you actually mm. go to yeah. the restaurant yeah. which is in a different place every four hours. Yeah. I know, it's yeah. like Doctor Who in a funny sort of way, yeah. isn't and it? And we can, yeah. it enables us to come to the people as well, where they're all congregating and having a good time, so, yeah. so we don't have to wait people, for them. Sometimes people will track you down, but sometimes yeah. you'll track people down. Yeah. Absolutely. The reason I was actually leaning here is that there's a, a, a warmer here. Ah. And this is the warmest part of the burrito Australia warmer. right at the moment, the burrito warmer. <laughs> Senor Vela created. So how's business going so far? So Fantastic. good. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. People it's are so really excited. Good. How do you guys decide where to park your van? Because obviously you've got the beauty of picking some of the best spots going around. How, how do you pick? Well, Sydney Council's yeah. put together an amazing selection of places for us, mm. from Hyde Park, soon down at Customs House, Martin Place, Pitt Street Mall. So we're really going to be in the thick of things um, and hitting the largest number of people, I suppose. Yeah. But then we're invited to lots of different events. You know, we're part of the comedy festival at the moment. We celebrated Pitwater Council's 20-year anniversary yesterday you with the food and Pitwater Council down in Mona Vale. 20-year anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah. That doesn't sound worth celebrating. Does it? <laughs> they put on a well fabulous done. show. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's that amazing. Good. When I was younger, I suppose me and my mates would go to a thing called the Caravan of Courage. And this was a caravan that served burritos, and it, it really was a risk to your health. Mm. You know, who are you? In, who, is, this, is this date nights? Is this mates? You know, guys after a big night out. Who are you aiming this at? Oh, Anyone. It's, it's a huge demographic, really, isn't it? I mean, all our food is cooked in a off-site kitchen, so it's all 
professionally prepared and slow roasted oh, and wow. there's been an evolution yeah <laughs> so there's a massive change to the way food's been prepared now and served and um, we we just we pride ourselves on the flavors and tastes. And the interesting thing is, like in the states, there is a whole co a whole culture yeah, around food trucks, mm. isn't there? So it is a totally different way of eating. Do you imagine that? I mean, it will take a long time for that to catch on, uh, to the point that it's a whole culture. Because to mm. start with, it's opportunist dining, isn't it? Like people didn't yeah. know you were going to be there. All of a sudden, you're there, and they That's think right. this is fantastic. Yeah. How yeah. can we take advantage of it? And then they have to get on the Twitter machine. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The council, Sydney Council. Have have shown massive... Um, Could you guys say... Pro you're so positive about the council. They're hideous people, oh, the council. <laughs> in this situation... Yeah, for this situation, though, they've been now. so behind us. Oh. And, yeah. and really encouraging this whole movement to work. Did they say you've got to talk positively about us no. or we'll close you down? Because <laughs> that's the sort of thing councils do. No, we want them to give us better sites. And yeah. better, right? but, ah, but we're working enough. on them. We're working. Rody, <laughs> Stephanie, where can people find you today? Well, aside from here. We're having a day off today. today. Yeah, having a day oh, off today. After a crazy weekend, we yeah. are we're we're taking it easy. To but to, uh, Wednesday night, we'll be back in Marrickville at the Comedy Festival yep. um, all week. Back to and the theatre. Yeah, but um, just Facebook, Twitter is. We like to be spontaneous as well. It's great food. I can recommend it. Highly, Paul, I can't believe you haven't got your hands on it. No, I'm going to have one in a minute. Brilliant, guys. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you very much.